This is where we begin our tour of the Cliff House Cliff Dwelling here at Mesa Verde National Park. We'll be meeting up with this group right here behind me and being led by the park ranger. You excited, sir? Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty fun. There's where we're going. <coughs> That's really cool, huh? Yeah. Look at all those kivas. It's a lot of kivas. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. One big happy tourist family today. <laughs> All right, so welcome to Mesa Verde. I feel very privileged to be taking you on this tour. My name is Ranger Reagan. So since Sarah and Seth are junior rangers, they're doing the junior ranger program, they get to be in the very front of the line. <laughs> Lucky for them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so there's like 50 people in our group. <laughs> It's kind of chilly in here. Welcome to Cliff Palace. I'm going to give you just a minute to look at it and admire it and start asking some questions. So the um, ranger just told us that this place was discovered by some cowboys who were out looking for uh, their cattle. They came across here and then um, they popularized the area and a lot of people would come out and take artifacts from here and stuff until there was a rich uh, aristocrat from Europe that came with a lot of money and a science background and began to um, you know, do some archeological work here to kind of preserve the area and to understand the people who lived here. Right now we're going to another stop on the tour and he's going to tell us some more information. Does anyone have any more questions? So at that last spot there, the ranger told us about all of the reconstruction that has been done to kind of uh, repair the place and make it look a little bit better. He also told us about um, where they buried there uh you know the people that died which is just really right in front of it on the slope there and then that these people have been dug up and there's a lot of mummies in the museum and things but that they've all been returned to the ground and buried at an undisclosed location in the park so we're all going to go up here and get to look into this tower and then come back over here and he's going to talk to us some more And I want you to take away is don't take my ancestors so seriously. So at the last spot there where we stopped, he talked a little bit about the kivas, which are those pits or holes in the ground, and that um, they were possibly places to for people to hang out. And um, the hole in the floor, and a little bit of their tradition about wow, cool. where they came from. I like this. Wow. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> He said we were going to huff and puff. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's mine. Ah. And he ah. talked a little bit about the theory of where they went and why they left. Mama, look. Apparently they moved south. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it? And uh, why? It is. Possibly because of environmental problems, drought, and a lack of water. Ah. Now we're hiking out of here. Maybe they just wanted to change the scenery. Maybe. Maybe yeah. Terry would be in here. <laughs> Oh, so tight. Oh, yeah. 